Southern parts of South Korea are grappling with the aftermath of monsoon rain that struck overnight. Jolanamdo province reported one death, with dozens more evacuating their homes. Che Min-jong with the details. Heavy rainfall in southern parts of South Korea late Monday left one person dead. Jolanamdo province was pounded by heavy showers as South Korea's yearly monsoon season began over the weekend. According to the Central Disaster and Safety Countermeasure Headquarters, a woman in her 60s was found dead early Tuesday morning after her house was flooded by a stream that had burst its banks. A landslide also occurred in Gwangyang, damaging warehouses and burying two houses under piles of mud. The fire department is currently attempting to save a woman in her 80s whose house was buried. In Gangjin and Jindo counties, 47 people were temporarily evacuated to nearby private accommodations, community halls and gyms. Some roads have been closed and rail services suspended due to concerns about falling rocks, flooding and landslides. Entry restrictions have also been applied to 11 national parks for safety reasons. As of Tuesday morning, many areas in Jeollanamdo province have experienced more than 70 millimeters of rainfall an hour. Jindo and Henam counties recorded their highest amount for July at over 60 millimeters each. South Korea's weather service says southern regions are forecast to see even heavier rain this afternoon with up to 80 millimeters an hour expected. The government has issued heavy rain warnings for 16 regions in Jeollanamdo province and heavy rain advisories for six other areas. Che Min-jong, Arirang News.